you all we will start off with uh, three ohms and uh, you have given uh, time up to now it is uh, 10 to 4 in melbourne up to 5 30 5 30 that is uh, 10 to 12 o'clock hope uh, everyone um, uh, on the other side uh, can stay through the program and uh, it will be a good investment for you and we'll start off with three ohms oh. extend ma as long as you can when the lips are together extend the humming sound it is um, it will energize each and every cell in the body helps in calming the mind again it is called as udgita pranayam again inhale Again. Oh. Repeat the Shanti Mantra, the meaning of this mantra. May we coexist in harmony. May we together get nourished well. It is both teacher and the taught. Both should get nourished. Not only the teacher, not only the taught. Both should get nourished well. With this nourishment, may we accomplish great things in our lives. Marvelous things in our lives. These marvelous achievements should be known everywhere, should known everywhere so that more and more people get inspired by our works. At the same time, may we not despise each other, may we not hate each other. Repeat after me. Om Sahana Bhavato Om Sahana Bhavato Sahano Bhunakto Sahano Bhunakto Sahaviryam Karava Vahai Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu Ma Vidvisha Vahai E Ma Vidvisha Vahai E Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 It is my privilege to be uh, with uh, Adi Shankara Institute again Last year around this time as our principal uh, Suresh Ji mentioned uh, last year I was there and many familiar faces uh, our Anand Ji, our Jay Shankar Ji, our uh, Sri Lakshmi Ji and uh, our uh, principal sir and uh, many familiar f faces uh, very great to be associated uh, with you and uh, it's my privilege to be part of your uh, institution. And um, across, everywhere, they are screaming for their rights. And people are fighting for their rights. I want my right. And unions are fighting for workers' rights. Women are fighting for women's right. And uh, our uh, many people, workers in the factories, they are saying that we are fighting for our rights. Now across in India, farmers are fighting for their rights. Everyone wants our rights. I want more. I want more. I am not happy with what I have. I want more. I am fighting for my right. And there is a sense of that I am not happy with what I have. I want more. I want more. And everyone, people are fighting for more rights and more. I want more. What about when it comes to giving it back? I don't want to give it back, but I want more. The right comes with another dimension. The rights comes with responsibility. 
rights and responsibility goes in hand in hand. More for most of us, we want more rights. But what about your responsibility? I don't want to do any responsibility. I don't want to discharge my obligations. I want more right. Only the right without responsibility is a myth. It is not sustainable. Across, I want more, I want more, I don't want to give it back. That, it is not sustainable. Like in a company, in a company, if I am working for a company, my whatever is my level, my designation, I will have a signature authority. Up to this one I can, my designation is this one, I have signature authority up, up to here. If I want more higher signature authority, I have to go to my superior. Superior has to approve. So, my right and responsibility is up to here. If I want more rights, I have to go for, I have to explain to my superior. Why I have to have more rights? They will say, I have to explain my responsibility is this one. Please approve. Then they will consider and they may approve. The right and uh, responsibility goes in hand in hand. And uh, uh, popular uh, the quotation from uh, American ex-president uh, John F. Kennedy, uh, the, if you want to have a healthy society, healthy community, healthy country and healthy world, if you want that one, ask not what your country can do for you, but rather ask what you can do it for the country. And always we want our rights, what you can give it back. I don't want to talk about that one. I want to know what I will get. I am so worried about what I will get. I don't want to give it back. The responsibility, it is also called as duty. The duty, my, I have a duty. I have responsible, my right and a duty. The duty also if I go through the international uh, airport, they will say the customs are there. Have you paid the duty for these goods? Duty means tax. Duty also means tax. My right, whatever right I have, it comes with a duty. Have you paid the tax? In um, uh, If I buy a car, if I buy a car, annually I have to pay the tax to the government because my car is occupying the space in the city. For occupying the space, I have to pay the tax. Whether I drive or not doesn't matter. For occupying the space, I have to pay the tax. And similarly, I am occupying this land. I am this, I am occupying this land, for occupying this land, I have to discharge my, pay the tax. Tax to the creator. I may not pay the tax to the local government, I may manipulate my accounts and get away not paying the tax. But nobody can get away without paying the tax to the creator. He knows how to take the tax. Tax, the duty, your uh, uh, right and duty, it goes in hand in hand. And we had to learn this one from the, the trees also. In uh, Australia and many America, many countries, the deciduous trees are there. In Himalayas, uh, upper north, uh, deciduous trees are there. Deciduous trees, what it does in the summer months, the tree is full of leaves. Tree, tree is full of leaves. It is uh, in Melbourne, it can go up to 45 degrees or 48 degrees. Very hot in summer. It is full of leaves. Why it is having full of leaves? So that it is giving a shade to the people, to the animals who are from the scorching sun. The so many leaves are there, people can take rest under the tree. And birds can take rest under the tree, eh, in the tree. And come in the winter, in the winter months, these deciduous trees shed the leaves. Shed the leaves completely, it is standing bare and when it is uh, no leaves, why it is shedding? It is allowing more sunlight, 
more heat from the sun come to the ground and so that freezing cold in the winter months melbourne can go to 0 degrees also freezing cold more sun should come it is in fact it is it knows what people wants it is do, discharging its duty in sanskrita there is uh, subhashita paropakaraya palanti vrikshah paropakaraya vahanti nadyah paropakaraya duhanti gavah paropakarartha idam shariram and the trees bear the fruit to for the welfare of the uh, welfare of others it is not eating itself rivers are flowing and it is uh, along the banks millions of uh, community people getting uh, uh, its uh, civilization get nourished ganga is flowing from himalayas up to bay of bengal millions of crores of people are civilization across they are uh, getting nourished rivers are flowing to help to support the community and cows cows are yielding the milk it may give little bit to its calf but majority people are using it is giving for the benefit of others so is our life our duty our responsibility in such a way that our actions along with our rights our actions should be of use for others rights and the duties duties they go hand in hand rights and duties go in hand when i have that type of mentality there is a positive hormone in the body happy hormones happy hormones they work within every cells in the body 37 trillion cells 37.3 trillion cells they are in harmony they start communicating with each other the cells with next to each other they start communicating they starts p- passing the nutrients between the cells and in the microcosm level in the cellular level there is a happiness when the cellular microcosm level is happiness in the macrocosm level whole body also is in harmony and the cells when they are in harmony they won't be attacking each other in the modern medical terminology what they call that one cells attack each other they think the neighboring cell is a threat they th- see the neighboring uh, cell as a uh, enemy they attack they call it as autoimmune disease these days autoimmune diseases are quite common across and they won't be attacking when i am happy within in a microcosm level and in the macrocosm in the body i am at peace when i am at peace when i am at peace the community around that one i am contributing towards that one and in the global level the global level the peace the peace uh, it's a percolates further peace percolates further in the global level the peace is has dawned in and peace has to percolate in the global level if i want to see a peace in the world the peace has to dawn in the from the uh, individual level i have been assert from my right of my health i have been assert i have lost my claim on the health because as our uh, suresh ji in the uh, principal sir uh, mentioned uh, our lifestyle we don't know what to eat when to eat uh, when to sleep when to get up and whom to make friendship with whom not to make friendship with we don't know what shri krishna in bhagavad gita talks about yukta ahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta sapna avabodasya yogo bhavati dukkaha dukkaha one the yoga yoga will become a dispeller of grief will bring in joy in your life will yoga will bring in joy joy in your life when you realize when to lead a life in moderation you should know when to sleep and um, our principal sir he was mentioning overworking we should know when to work when to take rest when to sleep when to get up 
what to eat, not to eat all the time. We don't know, the restaurant is open, I'm just going and um, in the Adi Shankara Institute, the cafeteria is open and I'm feeling bored. Uh, chai, okay, we'll, we'll, let us have a tea. And it's a, every day, six cups, ten cups. Whether I need or not, there is no control. And it's a just take, taking, listen to the body. That the, what you eat, when to eat. If I eat, take too much of tea or coffee, I can't sleep properly. I can't sleep properly. Next day, I, I, I have difficulty getting up, drained energy, I can't focus, I can't concentrate. And in the Facebook, in the, law, um, the modern uh, um, internet, um, social media, I accept anyone as a friend. I don't know what is their background. I take anyone for a friend and uh, Th that is having an impact on my health also. You should know when to, whom to make friendship with and uh, what to eat. And uh, what to eat, all processed food. It's a convenience. We are so busy, we don't have time. And microwave, put it in a microwave, warm it for two minutes, two minute noodle and eat. And there is, a, we want a shortcut. Shortcut, it is cutting short, cutting short our lifespan. Not to cut short, go for healthy, healthy stuff. We don't want five course meal, at least one simple meal, but a healthy one. Resort to that one. And it's a, a, a organic one and um, chemical free and um, uh, avoid uh, white sugar. Whatever is white, we think more white is better. White sugar or uh, white salt or uh, white polished rice, this, uh, this maida, what, uh, this white, it is detrimental to health. Go for a whole, whole meal and uh, unpolished rice and, um, and the sendava, it's a Himalayan salt or um, uh, it's a sugar also, uh, the jaggery, uh, the brown, the even jaggery, darker is better, not the lighter, darker is better. Resort to that one the darker a resort you listen to you talk to your mother or parents or uh, uh, grandparents uh, you see in kerala generally in the past they had a very healthy lifestyle coconut oil they were using the coconut oil and uh, the palm oil companies they started saying uh, cholesterol is high in coconut oil not to eat and um, uh, they started brainwashing through the some uh, doctors uh, they started propagating earlier they had a very healthy lifestyle the coconut coconut is a good cholesterol is there now we started resorting to palm oil resorting to palm oil our uh, inside our immune system has affected and now they are saying that palm oil has resulted uh, taking palm oil our diabetic condition has gone out of control and uh, resort to whatever is the, our uh, forefathers were doing forefathers our traditional we should be proud of our tradition not to not to blindly follow not to blindly follow what west, west says or what others uh, the modern uh, business school talks about Resort to what your uh, tradition, culture is there and uh, your ancestors were doing. Resort to that one. By resorting to th that one, you regain your health. Claim your health back. Claim your health back when the, the sign of health, the smile on your face all the time. No tension. And if you see all the time tension, try to smile. Have a mirror in the before leave the house. Stand in front of the mirror and see whether you are smiling. And have a smile on the face. That is a good sign of health. I may be taking some medication, but always positive in the mind. Always happy. Happy, regain the happiness. The happy, when you reclaimed your health back, when you lost a territory, you have been usurped, when you got your health back, now you have a responsibility towards others. Look after, share your energy and motivate your family members. 
motivate your community motivate the society and motivate the whole world you have a responsibility for the whole world and you are whatever you are you are not because of your own effort so many people made you what you you, have, you are now you have a responsibility to give it back you are claimed your right health now i am very healthy very happy in my life when i have that one discharge your duties discharge your duties as a service to the supreme lord supreme lord as a that one and when it does when the people our staff our uh, faculty our students in adi shankara does health they claim their health and discharging the duty now this uh, the uh, the uh, community around adi shankara will be happy in the healthy and it percolates down across kerala across india across the asia across southeast asia across europe america the health you can bring it back as our uh, anand ji mentioned uh, it should not be a annual once a year, uh, year event to think about this one periodic we had to recharge rejuvenate and reclaim our health and give it back to the society let us build a healthy society let the adi shankara institute be a pioneer in this one pioneer in spreading the positivity in the community let all the other institutions look up to adi shankara for inspiration how to be healthy how to add value to the society how to add value to the nation how to add value to the world may the other institutions across may they use adi shankara institute as a reference point to get rejuvenated inspired to add the to spread the message across with this opening message and um, i will come back on to this one towards the end in between we will do some postures asanas and